Welcome to the Alchemist Circle. I'm Alan McPhee. This channel is for people who are interested in alchemy but don't know anything about it. Today, our topic is the word alchemy itself. What is alchemy? What, 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 how do you define this word alchemy? If you've ever done a search on that word, you find this all the the meanings all over the place. You can Google, you can go to Wikipedia. It's all over the place. It's out there. So how do and yet people keep using that word? So today we want to look at that. What is what is a functional? Because in this channel we need to have an agreed upon meaning, right? So what is our functional definition we can say? Alchemy. First and foremost is a philosophy. It's a philosophy. It's a philosophy of life. But it's a philosophy that can be applied in many areas of your life. So someone may use alchemy just in their relationships. They may use alchemy and just in making um, money, becoming financially independent. They may use alchemy in promoting their health. But it's a philosophy. Here, I'm promoting alchemy as a lifestyle. So when you promote alchemy as a lifestyle, then, then it's more global and you can apply it in all those areas. But first, I need to pause and talk about philosophy a little bit. What's a philosophy? It's a vague concept, right? So let me illustrate for you what the, a philosophy is, right? These pair of glasses, hopefully you can see, hello, glasses, hello, 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 hello sunglasses, right? Um, represent the mind. Okay, you have a mind. Your mind is what is that thing in you that's understanding my words. All right. So we see you see my eyes. Okay, and I can see your eyes. All right. We see ourselves physically. We often take the mind for granted. All right. But the the mind acts like a filter. This filter is called the understanding. So as I speak right now, your mind is filtering the sounds and tr automatically translating into your, your inner self that you understand my words. If you do not speak English, you will not understand what I'm saying. And this is your mind. It's a super filter. To be alive is to have a filter, to have a mind. This is very important alchemy. We'll talk about that later on in this channel. The mind is very, very significant, and it's going to be the, the means by which you are going to alter your reality. But right now, let's look at it in philosophy. Practical philosophy. Yeah, I'm cool now, right? The whole idea of being cool is a philosophy. You have a certain vision on how you're supposed to behave and act. You could be a single man now, another example. You'd be a single man, and all of a sudden you got a girlfriend. Oh, no, I'm a boyfriend. I have to behave in a certain way. There's a certain behavior that's expected of me, especially for my girl, all right? Oops, I elevate myself. I became a husband. Oh my gosh. I'm a husband now. What am I saying? I got certain things it's because I'm a husband. Husband gotta behave in certain ways. I'm the man in the house. Those are personal applications of this, this mind stuff, all right? We could look at it on the political side. I'm a Democrat, a Democrat. We're liberals. We are for everyone. We have a certain way we look at things. Or you could say, <laughs> I'm a Republican. I'm a conservative. There's certain rules and regulations we follow. You know, you get it. One more example of philosophy here, well. I'm a Christian. Amen, brother. I'm gonna pray for your soul. Well, I'm a Muslim. I'm a Hindu. I worship the God Shiva. When you all have a religious view, the religion gives you a way to look at the world. You see? And that is a vision. That is a philosophy. So when I say alchemy is a philosophy, I mean it just like any other of these things you use every day. It's a, it's a philosophy. It's a guideline that get you in a certain destination. Now, in terms of alchemy, what is the guideline? The structure, the structure of the alchemy is the, the first most important thing about this particular vision, right? 
let me put on these glasses I, if I describe this vision of alchemy. The structure of this, um, this process, the big uh, part of it, okay, is first of all, the belief in one world. There is one reality, hmm? one reality. The model behind it doesn't, uh, doesn't really fully capture it, but look at, if you look at the total circle, okay, it's saying there's one reality. And what does that translate into when you think of one reality? It means there is this physical world. There's the stars and the cosmos. It says that to, to accept one reality means if there's a heaven and there's gods and goddesses and souls, they belong, belong to the same one reality. If there is a hell, it belongs to the same one reality. In the modern time, when you bring in the idea of the multiverse, if there are many universes out there, it still belongs to the same one reality. So the idea of the alchemy is first, except there's only one reality, right? There's only one reality. And if I want to move from this part of the reality to another part of reality, I just need to acquire knowledge of it, okay? But there's only one. That's the first thing. It's very flattening. I like this approach to alchemy. The second thing is that if we understand, if we acquire knowledge on reality, we can become masters of this one reality. We can become gods or godlike individuals in this one reality. All right? There is, that's the foundation. So, and so when you say I'm doing alchemy, one of the biggest process, not to change things, one of the biggest thing, the first thing is to learn about the world, learn about nature, learn about the natural elements. Because the more you have now you have from here, the more you'll be able to alter or influence the direction of the reality around you. That's the idea. That's the essence of alchemy. I acquire knowledge of nature. The deeper and deeper knowledge I have, the more and more I can transform things. I can transmute things. I can make things happen. That's the fundamental meaning of alchemy. It's a philosophy that says there's one reality. You could postulate whatever you want in that reality. Multi-universes, heaven and hell, gods, angels, just this physical world. If you don't know that just this physical world, the alchemists said they're just one reality. So there's no, you don't split up into two worlds. There's only one reality. And the more you understand that world, the more you're able to influence the direction of that world. If you do not study to develop that direction, then you're going to be one of those individuals who just influence or controlled by the world. So, yeah, that's the basic idea of this, this alchemy. Um, so I'm thinking of alchemy, then it's a philosophy about this one reality. And then the more knowledge I have about reality, then I can alter that reality in the direction that I want. Now, let me say this. This idea has been stolen from the alchemists a long time ago. Maybe stolen is a bad word. I'm trying to get controversial, all right? It has been absorbed, okay, by the thing you call science, all right? This idea is like a, a it's what scientists are doing today, but they, they hate that word alchemy. We'll talk about that sometime in the future in the channel, but they don't like that word alchemy because they already stole the essence of alchemy. Why do they want to use that word? Scientists investigate. Why do they investigate? It's not just knowledge. They're investigating the world to change the world, to make the world more suitable for human beings, okay? To make a heaven on earth, which is the alchemist concept. So you, 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 you're investigating, the deeper you go, you want, like for example, we study chemistry, we study all the various chemicals, and what do we do with that now today? We make artificial orange juice. We make all kinds of medicine. We make all kinds of facial cream. Um, with our knowledge of chemicals, we make all kinds of wonderful colors. Huh? With our knowledge of chemicals, we make life wonderful. But this whole idea is an alchemist idea. Thousands of years ago, nothing new in science. It's just that people, well, alchemy becomes before science. Alchemy derived from science. I mean, science derived from alchemy. They don't like to associate with alchemy. Well, that's what they've done. 
So, so when I give that definition, you don't have to go far to find illustrations where if I get more knowledge of the fundamental substance, I can use that knowledge to make my life better, right? Uh, there is a play going on. So if I get knowledge of, on these, these organisms that are doing that stuff and understand the process, I can what? I can respond by creating a chemical that would neutralize these things. Right? <clears throat> so you can see this in practice, but I want to use the word alchemy rather than science. Science, when you use that word, okay, science disempowers you. You're waiting for somebody with a degree to come and solve the problem. But the alchemist says, you're a physical being, you're part of the one reality. You can do a lot of things for yourself. If the scientists do some discoveries and publish that stuff, you can use all the information you, you they have to accelerate your own studies. Why go restudy the atoms when they've done it for you? You can take that and move your alchemical game to the highest level faster. Because alchemy, first and foremost, is about self-empowerment. It's about you acquiring the knowledge, you making the changes, you becoming the master of your own destiny. You can't do that if you're waiting for the scientist to give you the answer. But if you're already an alchemist, you hope the scientists find a solution to certain things. Because when they do, you go take it, you move even faster. If you just do science, you're waiting for them to solve everything and you don't do anything. It's disempowering, all right? So I don't want to use that word, even though I know, in essence, they're, they're closet alchemists. Because it's disempowering for everyone else. It's disempowering for me, all right? But I use science and scientific theories and things like that to do my own work. <clears throat> So, what is alchemy? When someone asks, you first, for yourself, is first and foremost a philosophy, a guideline on how to live your life or a guideline on how to be successful in a particular way. And the essence of that is that if I acquire lots of knowledge of a particular system, then I'm able to manip to modify Manipulation is a strong word, but I can manipulate that system. I can modify it, or at least I can influence its direction to my advantage, okay? Knowledge, you could say, in essence. Knowledge becomes power.